Hey everybody, thanks for joining in. Today I have a really fun creative painting idea for you to give a try. We are going to be painting with Oobleck. If you've ever played with this stuff before, it's always lots of fun, but did you know that you could paint with it? Probably not. So I'm going to mix up one more color here so you can see how it's done. You don't need very much. A little goes a long way. I'm doing about two teaspoons of cornstarch and mixing that with about one teaspoon of water. I've also got a little pipette here because if you need more water, you wanna add it a very small amount at a time. Now I've already got green, blue, and orange mixed up here, so I'm gonna add some red food coloring to this one, so it'll probably be more of a pink color once it's mixed in with the white. I have also am using plastic forks for this just because that way your containers don't tip over when you're using them. If you've got metal forks in there, they'll want to knock over. See, we're going to need more moisture in this one. So, using a pipette, just add a little bit at a time. You don't want it to get too runny. You want it to still form into a hard matter when you're stirring. So just a little bit at a time until we get to the consistency that we want. And it is really interesting to stir. As you can see, it gets kind of tough or hard when you're stirring, but then when you stop, it gets really loose. I'll bring it really close here and let it focus in. So that's what we're looking for. You want to be able to pull it apart with your fork, push it really hard, but when you lift up your fork, it kind of loosens back up. That's what we're looking for. So once you have your colors ready to go, you can just use your fork or you could even use your hands. I'm going to use my fork today just because I am filming this video and I don't want to go after my camera with sticky gunky fingers when I'm done. So just take a forkful of oobleck and start drizzling it down on your strips of paper. Now I am using cardstock so it's a little bit of a stiffer paper. It will help it from getting soggy. But as you can see, it kind of drizzles down and makes really fun patterns. You can mix and match between your colors. See, grab a little green here. And just kind of make some fun designs. Got to get another color in there so they don't look too Christmassy, right? Along here with our orange. And it is really fun to get in with your hands and do this as well. So I definitely encourage you to do that. We are doing this on a cookie sheet. It kind of helps keep your workspace nice and clean as well. Go in with our last color of blue. There we go. We'll hold this one up really high. The higher you get up, the skinnier little drizzles you'll be able to get. This way over here needs a little bit more. And we'll call that good. We're going to let these dry for a little bit, and then I'll show you what you're going to be doing next. We're back now, and the big ones didn't crack up as much as it did for me on some of my other sheets we've done, but you can see it's starting to crack along some of the seams and things like that, but it looks pretty dry. You can, you can feel it and feel it's dry to the touch. So what you're going to need is a spatula with a nice straight edge, and you're gonna to wanna to keep working on your tray that you had before. So just pick up your piece of paper and move it to the side. And we're just gonna take the edge of the spatula and scrape off that top layer, just like that. And you see it reveals a really cool pattern underneath. A lot of that color sticks around and the edges of the color, or the edges of the oblek or oobleck leave an even darker area. So I'm going to continue scraping all these. I'll speed it up and then we'll take a look at them. Okay, we're scraping off our last one here. And we'll go ahead and move that out of the way. And let's check these out. Aren't these so amazing? Each one has its own unique little pattern. I'll show you some of them up close. Now you can take your leftover pieces like this tray, add a little couple sprinkles of water and let your little one play in it if you'd like. 
but you can use these for bookmarks or just to display but it's so fun check these out you can see the different color variations when the colors mix together and look even this one has a few little circles in it every single one will be unique and different it's such a fun creative painting idea to do with your little ones so i hope you give this one a try and we'll be back soon with another fun idea for you to do with your kids take it easy bye